Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a question here, pretty short one this time, but maybe a long answer. It's, uh, hi John, I will keep this short and cut to the chase. Uh, how can I build and develop more discipline as well as time management organization? I have trouble even sticking to a to-do list sometimes. Thanks. This is from Jake. So Jake, this is, <laughs> uh, this is if, if you could solve this problem, how productive would you be? I, I'm going to refer you, first of all, because I'm going I'm to give you kind of the, the top advice that I can in this video, and then I'm going to refer you to a, a whole section. I, I wrote a whole bunch about productivity in my book, Soft Skills, Software Developer's Life Manual. Definitely check that out. There's a whole uh, section with multiple chapters on productivity, and I think that you, you really need to study productivity in order to, to be productive. But let's talk about sort of discipline in the time management aspect. So first, let's talk about how you develop discipline, because it doesn't matter what kind of productivity techniques that you apply. It doesn't matter what you know. If you don't have discipline, you're never going to reach your goals. You're never going to accomplish anything. So how do you build discipline? Discipline, you know, obviously I could talk about discipline for hours, but I'm going to give you kind of some short techniques and some ideas that are going to hopefully point you in the right direction about developing discipline. So discipline, one of the best ways, well, here's something to understand about discipline. Let's talk about discipline in general, is that, you know, there, I, I love this, uh, I think it's T. Harvey Eckerd quote where he says, uh, you know, how you do anything is how you do everything. And so I always think of that in regards to discipline. And, and, and you know, the other thing I think about in regards to discipline is this idea that uh, I believe someone said, uh, maybe it was Brandon Carter, he said that discipline is doing what, you, what you're supposed to do, whether you want to or not. I, I really like that definition of it. And, and when you combine those two things together, what, what you find out is that Basically, when you de develop discipline in one area, it applies in multiple areas. And that's why you're, you're going to see a lot of times when someone starts to get, get one ha bad habit kicked from their life, that they start progressing in other areas. It's because they're developing discipline. So one really good way that I found to develop discipline is to develop physical discipline first, because that's sort of the easier one to, to visualize, to, to see what you're supposed to do, right? It's, it's hard to develop the discipline to constantly concentrate and focus and write or something like that. But it's really easy to see if you have the discipline to get up in the morning and go to the gym every morning or to go for a run, right? That kind of physical discipline will actually develop mental discipline because the difficulty, our bodies are, you know, a hundred times more capable than what we think they are capable of. We can always run further. We can always lift heavier. We can always take it to the extreme beyond, beyond what you imagine, but it's your mind that stops you, right? The, the weakness is in the mind. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger talks about this a lot is that it's your mind that's weak, right? <laughs> he says. So that's that's the key. Is if you want to develop discipline, figure out areas where you can have that discipline. Whether it be, you know, some of the things. Again, I, I talk about uh, how I meet, eat one meal a day, right? I, I I fast until five every day. I've been doing this for almost two years now, right? About a year and a half. And one of the reasons why I do this, besides the the health, the, the physical benefits, is to keep my discipline, to keep my edge. If I have the 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 discipline to not eat until five o'clock every single day then what happens is that discipline carries over to other areas, right? When I want to sit down and write, if I have to write a thousand words or I'm going to you know, focus on something for two hours, it's not a problem because I've developed that discipline. So you, what I would recommend if you want to develop discipline is figure out things that are tough that you can do that are going to develop that discipline. Go and start a workout routine or a diet or a running routine and, and follow that and make sure that you do it. Wake up at a certain time every day. Remember to, to try and live your whole life with this discipline because what ends up happening is a lot of people try to compartmentalize their life. So they, they think that they're going to have discipline in one area but they think that in other areas that they're just going to be lazy and it's not going to matter. And what you find is, again, that quote, how you do anything is how you do everything. So you've got to really live your life. It has to be a principle that you, you follow and, and you have to practice it. So if you want to get better at developing your discipline, go and do the things that are going to, are going to require discipline from you. That's how you grow that muscle. 
Same thing with time management. Once you have discipline, then you can actually start exploring time management. If you, ha if you don't have discipline, it doesn't matter. You can schedule out your day and you can manage your time as, as productively as possible, but if you don't have discipline, how are you, how are you gonna stick to that? Sticking to it is, is the hard part. If you, if you can do that, then all those productivity techniques will work. So I'm not even gonna really talk about the time management part until you get the discipline part. So uh, I think that's pretty much, you know, that's, that's the basics of developing discipline and, and self-discipline is, is really the key of it, right? If you have someone else that's pushing you or forcing you to do something, it's not going to work as well. You have to be able to do it yourself. It has to come from you, your own internal motivation. And, and, and remember, it's whether you feel like doing it or not. When you get to the point where you can do things, whether you feel like doing them or not, that's when you have discipline and until you have that you're not going to have productivity so focus on that like i said get to the gym start a diet start an exercise program running whatever it takes to be able to build that discipline and and that muscle will, will continue to grow and you're going to see it when you sit down to work you're going to carry that same discipline over but until you can do that it's, it's, it's just not going to happen so anyway hope that helps you if you have a question for me email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com and if you like this video subscribe to the channel take care